Hello guys, it's Miss Wood again, and today we're going to go back to talking about different units of measurement. So in our last video, we talked about customary units um, used to measure length, and we talked about a few specific ones. We talked about inches, feet, yards, and miles. So we talked about how we could measure the lengths of different objects and what would be the best way to describe those lengths. We talked about if we were to measure the distance from our house to the school, would we use inches? No, too small. What about feet? No, again, too small. What about yards? Probably not unless you live right beside of the school. And again, that's probably too small. So when we talk about any distance that we would usually travel in a car, we're going to talk about miles. If we're talking about the length of a paperclip, miles would be too big. Yards would be too big. Even feet would be too big. So we're going to use the smallest unit of customary measurement, which would be inches. So we've talked about length. Today what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about different units of measurement using weight. So you can measure the weight of a bag of apples, you can measure the weight of yourself, of your pet, different objects around the house. And then our next video that you'll see next time, we're going to be measuring capacity. So customary weight is how heavy something is. Customary units for measuring weight could be considered ounces, which we use the abbreviation OZ, or pounds, which you see the abbreviation LBS. It doesn't look like pounds, but that's what pounds is abbreviated. Or tons. And again, if you notice the arrow off to the side, ounces is going to be our smaller unit to measure weight, and tons will be our larger unit. Close your eyes and visualize what, as I read. An ounce is about as heavy as one slice of bread. We all know that bread is not very heavy, so one slice of bread will be about an ounce. A paper clip, um, several paper clips would be about an ounce. A pound is about as heavy as a package of butter, so about four sticks of butter is considered a pound of butter. Also, things that are also a pound, an iPad, a baseball, all of those are about one pound each. A ton is about as heavy as a medium-sized car. To, so now we're going to talk about which one would be the most appropriate to use if you were given the following situation. Would we use ounces, pounds, or tons? Which customary unit would best be to use would be best to use to measure the weight of an apple? Would we measure in tons the same thing we measure really heavy objects like cars? Would we measure in pounds, like we said a, about a package of butter or a baseball? Or would we use ounces, which we said was about the weight of a slice of bread or several paper clips? Well, an apple is best going to be measured ounces. Which of these is the best estimate for the apple? About 4 ounces or 40 ounces? Hmm. Well, if one slice of bread is only one ounce, which one do you think the apple would weigh? About four ounces. About four slices of bread would be the weight of an apple. Because you apples are pretty juicy on the inside, and they're not very heavy. Which customary unit would be best to use to measure the weight of a bag of apples? So multiple apples. Let's think about if we had about ten apples, would we use ounces? Pounds or tons? Pounds. Which is the best estimate for the apples? So a bag of apples. Would they measure about 3 pounds or a measure about 20 pounds? Well, just a bag of apples would probably be close to about 3 pounds. If you ever go to the grocery store and you see scales that are hanging up, they measure your fruits and vegetables in ounces and pounds. So you pay for your vegetables, depending on how much it weighs. Which customary unit would be best to use to measure the weight of a basketball? Hmm. Well, would it be ounces, pounds, or tons? Ounces. 
Which is the best estimate for the basketball? Two ounces or 20 ounces? So two slices of bread or 20 slices of bread? Which one could we compare the weight of a basketball to? You got it, 20 ounces. Which customary unit would be best to use to measure the weight of a 10-year-old child? So someone about your age, would we use ounces, pounds, or tons? Think about if you've ever gone to the doctor for a checkup. You step on the scale and they tell you you might weigh so many what? Oh, pounds. Which is the best estimate for the pound of a 10-year-old child? About 25 pounds or closer to 70 pounds? Think about your own body weight. Are you closer to 25 pounds or 70 pounds? Probably 70 pounds for a, a child your age. And lastly, which customer unit would best be used to measure the weight of an elephant? Tons, because think about a medium-sized car and an elephant are probably going to weigh about the same. And we're going to use tons to measure both of those heavy objects. Which is the best estimate for the elephant? 3 tons or 15 tons? 3 tons would be the best to use to measure about an elephant. I hope you guys learned something about customary weight and that you are working on your practice on the rest of Class Kick. See you later.